Hello everyone, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Welcome to episode two of Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. I'm so, so excited to play this, you guys. So let's get to it. First things first, we're gonna have to water all our little crops. Oh, first things first, we're gonna invite Chiki out here. I don't know, Chiki is upset. Oh no, what have we done? What have we done? Pick that up. Oh my goodness, I'm so distracted. <laughs> oh my goodness. The farming life is distracting, so distracting. Well, I hope you're all having an amazing day. If you have picked this game up, how are you liking it so far? Uh, in the previous episode, in the first part of this little Let's Play Series, we kind of just started our farm so we're not really that far ahead it is currently day four of spring i think victor just came by to tell us about the house upgrades we need to get out of that tent asap um also i think today we are going to try and meet the rest of the townspeople that we didn't meet last time i'm just not exactly sure who we didn't meet yet i think i know two of the tow towners that we didn't meet last time but that is pretty much it like I'm not sure who we're missing so let's see if we can find uh, that missing person today let me see what we needed for this okay we need more lumber for that in case I didn't mention that in the last part because I kind of wanted to wrap that last part up quite fast since I didn't want the first look to this game to be like half an hour no it was half an hour but like an hour long so I kind of wrapped it up quite fast but anyways in this game you also have crafting and you can craft these like uh, makers that make those like raw materials into lumber and iron bars oh I didn't even notice that we have already a mayonnaise maker awesome but we definitely need the ingot maker because we need a lot of iron bars to be up to be able to upgrade a lot of stuff but um okay all our crops have been watered i definitely definitely need to make one of those boxes because our pocket space is very limited very very limited let's throw this one here and let's put some of these into the inventory i think we can probably sell the flower let's do that make a little bit of money we need money so badly i think the first house upgrade costs like 2000 gold so i hope our turnips are going to be all ready by tomorrow i suppose i just really need that house upgrade okay i think this is one of the people that we didn't meet yet okay this is george he's the captain of the ferry and who was the other person that we're missing i think it's nguang the flower shop owner let's go and check it out yes now it's just a question of who is the last person that we we need to find ah Mila so you're the one then name's Nguyen my granddaughter and I run the flower shop if you ever want flowers or seeds come to me I don't know well how much do they cost actually I haven't really been growing any flowers okay I don't think I can afford much just yet <laughs> I'm broke as a as a something <laughs> broke as a something um who are we missing oh my goodness okay i want to take a quick look like i'm getting a little bit more familiar with the characters but i'm um, still not that good oh no i i honestly i cannot figure it out i cannot figure it out <laughs> Okay, I have no idea who is the last person that we didn't meet yet. And actually, as you probably maybe could see, there was actually two people missing. But I think very beginning of the game, you cannot even meet that last person. Okay, so let's go over some things that we did not go through in the first part. So in your town hall, you have a bulletin board, very Stardew Valley style. And there are like every day, there is at least one request for something that the town people want. When you finish the task for that person, you also gain a little bit of friendship with that person. So definitely we need to go and grab those five grass and bring it back to, to the town hall. And this is my second thing right next to that bulletin board. I just stumbled upon this by accident in my other save game. You have this like title rewards box in here. You need to go here and take everything that is in here because you can get a lot of money 
money by selling whatever is in here. I'm telling you guys, this is a gold mine. Plus, you also get like some seeds and stuff. So beginning of the game, go to your town hall and go to that whatever letter box or whatever that is because you will gain quite a a lot of little stuffs and if you sell i think you can just sell these bronze metal things and you can gain quite a bit of money at least like for the beginning of the game so definitely definitely do that i haven't still progressed too far into the game yet because i'm also playing animal crossing <laughs> There is not enough hours in the day to play everything. But definitely, definitely, if you discover any any cool things about this game, like, let me know. I'm not a pro myself just yet. Uh, I guess we could, like, plant these tulip seeds. Just when I was talking about the flowers. Okay, I think that is it for now. I don't really have a lot of space for that and I'm not still sure how I want to design my farm. So I'm gonna leave some of the seeds there. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's grab some of the weeds. I think we needed five for the request. Uh, and let's go do that. Honestly, the very beginning of the game is kind of grindy. You just need like a lot of, a lot of materials to be able to craft stuff in order to like progress in the game. Who are we missing? <laughs> What did we not meet? Oh my goodness. We could do a little bit of fishing too. I want to show you the museum. I know some of you might have been interested in that aspect as well. Where was that thing? Okay, bulletin board. So we delivered that. I hope Laura is kind of happy now. Did we meet Laura actually? Is she the girl that we're missing? What was I supposed to do? Okay, let's do a little bit of fishing because I actually want to catch a few fish so we can go and donate those to the museum. I don't think there is much else that we can do on the first day. On the first day? This is the fourth day. On the fourth day. Stamina is kind of low, but we can gather some materials and do a little bit of fishing and stuff and we can just chill. Fishing is, uh, I mean, I'm really good at fishing now. Not like super good, but I'm way better than I was like <laughs> in the very beginning. Fishing in this game is so interesting, but I would say it's definitely way easier than in Stardew Valley. Let's see if we can catch like a couple different fish. Oh, yay. Okay. Who is this? Who is this? Is this a tourist? Oh, she's so cute. I love the dress. I was like, is this someone we didn't meet yet? Confusing, confusing. Okay, let's go to the museum. So we caught some fishes. So we can go and donate these to Gloria. I wish we could like donate more than one thing at a time. But um, you can only donate like, yeah, one thing at a time because you have to like choose the spot for that thing. So you basically like choose the location and you just fill up your museum. You can donate different fish and sea creatures. You can also take photos of the animals. So in the previous episode where we saw like the fox and stuff like that, you can donate pictures that you take of them, which is strangely enough, that is like one of my favorite features of this game. And yeah, like in the beginning, uh, Gloria gave us a camera so we can go and take some photos too. So yay, we got our museum started. You can also donate treasures, but I I still haven't found any. We can also explore the caves a little bit in this episode. I hope you do enjoy it. Thank you so much for coming to hang out for another episode of one of my favorite games at the moment. Like honestly, I'm so obsessed with this guys. I hope you are too. And if you haven't picked up this game yet, I hope that my little let's play kind of sheds some light to what kind of game this is. Maybe if you like it or not. But as I mentioned in some of the comments, I did watch a little bit of gameplay before I purchased this game and I don't know I couldn't get the same feel from the streams and stuff like that and I truly only fell in love with this game when I started to play it myself it's super super chill and it has like that Animal Crossing chill feeling that I don't really get that much from Animal Crossing anymore I like all this fishing and stuff like that it's been really so much fun oh my goodness we're not gonna catch this fish we're not gonna catch this fish oh no Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up. I messed that up. It's gonna run away. Run away. Okay, yellow perch, super difficult to catch. Okay, let me show you the, um, the camera thing. So you have it in your tool bag and you just take the camera out. I don't know. I just love this feature. Look at this. Press Y for photos and then you like, oh no, the cherry blossom is in my way. Okay, we need to move a little bit. Was I inside the tree? And you take like cute photos. 
Okay, like I'm really not the best at this, but at least we got a couple of cute, 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 cute or good photos. The fox is so cute. Like I, I still have dreams that one day I am able to tame the fox and have it as pet. And if I cannot do that, I am going to be so sad. Ah, uh, this place is pretty chill compared to the city. Okay, I also think that on your first days, the the townspeople are kind of like not complaining but telling you like you know what I've seen my fair share of towns and I gotta say this one's a little on the sleepy side so you can definitely take the hint that they want this town to be like busier so let's donate our first photo to the museum I don't know like for some reason I really like this aspect of the game the photo thing is somehow like so adorable. Okay, I think we've done our fair share of museum shenanigans today. Let's go and let's go and do some <laughs> caving. Oh, I could have, ah, okay, we can do that later. We can do that later. I don't feel like going back to the museum. But I could have donated that yellow perch, but did I remember? Of course I did not. <laughs> Fishing is not where the money is at. I think at least, not sure if it changes once you're level, once you level up, you're fishing but you definitely don't make any money with fishing let's pet cheeky one more time oh you know what you know what we need to we need to chop some some stuff down yeah we are definitely going to need a lot of materials on our first days so it's kind of grindy in the beginning but then again what farming simulator isn't but i'm gonna do this real quick then i'm gonna go and eat something in the bistro bistro <laughs> to like recover my stamina a little bit and then we're gonna explore the caves a little bit. By the way, curry rice is the best. I don't know if I mentioned this in the first episode or not, but that one is like the cheapest and at least for me, I think it has been like the best. Like you get a decent amount of energy from it. Okay, we should have still a little bit of time to explore the caves. So let's do this. My technique is just to at first at least try to go as deep as you can and definitely dig all all these out and break those things that you can see in the in the walls of the caves yes let's get all the iron i'm not sure if this has like the same logic of friends of mineral town but the deeper you go into the mines the better materials you find i'm not sure if that's the case i'm hoping to reach the level b10 hopefully today let's see how our stamina lasts Oh no, don't pass out, girl. Don't pass out. B7, B7. We can do this. We can do this. I love it when I can find just those stairs so easily like that. I wish Stardew would have that as well. Okay, where are the stairs at? Where are the stairs at? Yes, okay, perfect. Look at this. <laughs> That thing is adorable. What the heck is that? I love it. <laughs> Magma Sprite. You made it all the way down here? You're pretty good. As a reward, I'll give you a present. Keep up the hard work. You're doing great. I love that thing. I don't know what that is, but I love it. <laughs> You obtained white opal times three from magma sprite. So since my stamina has been like quite bad, I didn't still, I didn't figure out if I can go lower than B12, tw tw twin, B10. But I think so far I haven't been able to go lower than this. <gasps> no, I fainted. <laughs> oh, I forgot, I forgot. I feel like that last bit of energy goes so fast. Oh, oh my dear. Okay, fail. <laughs> Oops. But the good thing is, at least in this game, you don't like lose any of your stuff or anything like that. Or do you? I don't think you do. Okay, great. We just lost one heart from the beginning of today. Oh my goodness, I forgot to check if anyone has their birthdays around this time. But to be fair, we don't really have anything to gift them. I don't think it matters that much. Why aren't the turnips ready? Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna craft one of these ingot makers. Let's see if we could maybe even upgrade our house today. I think we could try to do that. I would love to get 
out of that crusty, crusty tent. I'm not sure if it's a smart thing to do, but I think we are going to do it today. The other option is kind of to invest our money to more crops, but as my farm is still a bit of a hot mess, I don't think we have a lot of space for, for crops yet. Plus, I kind of don't want to be just watering my plants like the whole day. So I think this farm is pretty, pretty okay size. Oh, has anyone uh, figured out yet what is like the best crops? Is there like a Pioneers of Olive Town wiki or something where we could check? I would love to know that. I have like no idea. I'm trying to just like grow a little bit of everything. Okay, everything is all nice and watered. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of material gathering right now. My farm is still a bit of a mess. If I remember correctly, I might be wrong though, but I think we need like 20 wood for, for the house upgrade. Let's see if we can do that actually tomorrow or at least get it started. I think it must take like one day before it's ready. I am interested to see how that works because for example, the coop, we can repair that like instantly, but I would assume maybe the house takes like one day to be ready or even more. It could even take more. Oh, I see a squirrel. Where is my camera? I see a little Marshall. And amazing photograph skills. All you can see is grass. Hello. Hello, little buddy. Pose for the camera. Oh my goodness. That is the cutest thing ever. I love it. Oh my goodness. I don't know. This just makes me endlessly happy. Just like that. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. That photographing thing is the best thing ever. This makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. Happy tears. I am naming that squirrel Marshall. Okay, I'm just gonna fill these makers up and we're gonna go to the city. Let's see if we can maybe upgrade our, our house already. I feel like most of the days when I try to do something, that shop is closed. Oh, I think we can actually donate one of these. And I think that should be it. I hope we get something good on the bulleting board. Let's see if I pet it cheeky yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, this game is so cute. This game is just so cute. Oh, well, hello there, Mila. Getting the hang of things here in Olive Town? I realized we may not have as many conveniences compared to the big city, but we get by here well enough. We all work together to build this place into what it is today, and we're proud of that. We have our troubles, of course, but... Um, okay. <laughs> hmm. Jacobo, what on earth are you doing here? Not skipping work on the ferry, are we? Nah, dad, it's cool. We don't have many tourists headed in today. So I took care of cleaning duty in no time flat. So that's why you're back early. Yeah, pretty much. I figured I'd run and take a shower before Captain George gives me my next assignment. Okay. Sigh. And that, you see, is one of the troubles. We lack tourism. I'm not saying that Oli Olive Town has to be a top resort spot by any means, but I'd like it to be a tiny oasis that tourists can enjoy. That's where you come in, Mila. You were raised in a big city, weren't you? Could I get your opinion on something? What do you suppose we should do to grab the attention of the city folk? Oh my goodness, the plot thickens. The plot thickens. Thickens. Advertise on TV, develop the town with latest tech, offer a break from- Yeah, I think- I think the, the last one is the most obvious one. Ah, I see. Offering a calm break from the city life might be just what they need. Uh, if they could relax in Olive Town, blah blah blah. Okay. So, I think this is like our agenda for the game. Speaking of life's simple pleasures, that shower felt great. Maybe I'll sneak into a cafe trip and make the rest of the day off. And take the rest of the day off. Oh my god, I can't read. Oh, for the love of... Please go to work, son. Okay, Jacopo is definitely a hot mess. Okay, what were we doing? Home upgrade. Was it here? Please be open. Yes, 
Okay, let's check what we need. We should have enough money to expand the house. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wasting all the money. I'm not sure if this is a smart move so early in the game, but we're gonna do it. We don't want to sleep in a tent no more. <gasps> oh my goodness. Honestly, straight away. Oh, look at our house. <laughs> look at our house. How about it? Nice and cozy like a home should be, right? I built a kitchen for you. You should try and cook something up with all those ingredients you pick up on the farm. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, losing my mind. With a house this spacious, I'd say if you got enough room to keep a pet. If you're interested in pets, you should head to the animal shop. I'm sure Bridget is gonna help. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Owning pets. Now you can own cats, dogs, and other furry pets. That that better mean a fox. I need a fox. Amazing. Oh, it took us back here. Okay, let's check our house. So cute. It's such a cute, tiny little house. Ah, uh, we can also take baths now. They restore a small amount of stamina. Okay, great. We should definitely try that out straight away. Oh, yay. It gave us like one heart. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, look at our house. This is so cute. What do we need for a vegetable salad? Okay, we cannot do that. We could, we could make this. Yes, let's do this. Oh, but it takes quite a lot of time. I think we need to go and do other stuff. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love cooking. Love, love, love it. Let's see if this restores any more stamina. Okay, one heart, aka nothing. We definitely need to work on our cooking skills for sure. Okay, so let's go. Oh, who is that? There are still, still so many characters that we haven't met yet. I'm still <laughs> wondering who that mystery character is that we're missing. Okay, let's go to the town hall and see what is in here. Oh, do we have that? I need to go and check that one out. And look at this. There are like always so many like medals in that thing. Definitely go check it out. I'm not sure if you can do anything else with the medals than sell them. So I highly kind of think I recommend. <laughs> I highly kind of think I recommend what? Oh, we cannot donate anything to the museum today. Oh, too bad. But yeah, I would say just sell the medals. Reina, I like how laid back this town is, but we could do with a few more tourists. Yeah, so I think that is what we we have to do. Like we need to do some tasks or something to bump up the town image so people come and visit us. Okay, I think we can afford a, a small meal in the bistro. Bistro? Why do I keep saying bistro? It's a bistro now. We did meet Lair. So who did we not meet? I'm so confused with who we, who we did not meet. Okay, everyone seems to be going on and on about like how we need more tourists or like how the town is a little bit sleepy and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. What is this? Welcome, welcome. You've expanded your house? Why? That's wonderful news. More space means more room for you to use. That reminds me. Why not get yourself a pet to share it with? Ooh, what? Okay, what is this? Did we get a pet? Oh, it's a leash. Okay, whatever. But we can walk our dogs. No way. This game is everything. Oh, so how about a life with cute buddy on your side? If you're interested, let Bridget know. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I want to know what options we have. I hope the shop is open. Like we cannot obviously like afford anything. Shiba Inu, black Shiba Inu, white. Oh no. Oh no. Cats. Oh my goodness, you guys. No way. Oh, I kind of need the Shiba though. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, my heart cannot take the cuteness, the chonkiness, the fluffiness. Oh no. <laughs> I need them all in my life. We did meet Patricia and Bridget, right? Okay, I think for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna... Oh, mysterious creatures. What is this? You might notice some odd little creatures hopping around your farm while you're pioneering or working the farm. Maybe something good will happen if you find a lot of them. Oh, is this one of the mini games? Anyways, I think I'm gonna just gather some materials around the farm 
farm. Maybe I will even attempt the caves. We just really need a lot of materials to be able to craft stuff and get more things upgraded. So I'm definitely gonna work on this for a little bit. And I think we can do maybe one more day. And I don't know if I already said this, but I hope you have been enjoying this game as much as I have. I don't know. This is like my newest obsession. I want to play this game like 24-7. This is so good and so cute. Like that is one of the things that I love most about this. This is so cute and chill and it really is a fun change from Animal Crossing too. I forgot the bulleting board thing. What was it? Oh no, I forgot. Was it grass, sap, rocks? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's go and sleep in our new house. So these metals make really good money. Best hack for the beginning of the game money. I think we could even go and buy a little bit more crops now. Oh my goodness, my boys. <laughs> oh, Victor is back. Good morning, Mila. Apologies for barging in on you so early, but there is something important I need to ask you. Perhaps you've noticed, but our fair town's been getting livelier by the day. My hope is that if we can keep this up, we can develop our town into an even better place to live. Unfortunately, I cannot do that alone. Of course you cannot. And I guess I'm happy to help. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is so interesting. Victor is telling us that we might be able to open more shops. I'm really interested to see what that might be. And like the aesthetic of the town is gonna change as well. So basically he just told us that we have to do like these quests on that exact same bulletin board where you can found the town quests or the towny quests. And I'm really curious to see if the town also changes when you're completing these tasks. I'm so intrigued to see that. I love our new house. <laughs> so cute. I think this game has a lot to offer and I'm really interested to see how the storyline develops. Can we like change the town? It looks so good. Like if the town changes as we are like progressing with the story, I think that is going to be really interesting to see. Uh, I think I mentioned already that I did download the DLC and I think the DLC, the expansion pass thing works that every month you get like different stuff to add on to the game and I think in in some month we should be able to unlock like a new area which I think is going to be really 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 interesting and if you want to see more story of seasons make sure you like the video because it helps out so much especially because we're playing a game that is not very popular on the channel or it's not like the typical video that we play on the channel and yeah YouTube algorithm is kind of annoying so make sure you like the video if you want to see more story of seasons but i'm sure i will make a couple episodes at least because i'm just enjoying this so much myself and thank you for supporting my new addiction it means so much i really really appreciate you guys also hanging out with me for something else than animal crossing okay where did i hide the tulip seeds okay what is our next thing should we even like spend our money wisely and try to upgrade our our watering can. I think that could be a smart thing to do. We almost have enough lumber to upgrade the bridge as well. And I have seen enough beginning of the game let's plays that I know that the chunky cows are on the other side of this bridge. You know what I also kind of like? That we have the option of either paying for the upgrade or using materials for that. I think that's a really smart, smart choice from the developers of this game. So you can do either or. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to call Cheeky out. Such cutie! Okay, I just did some gathering of materials now and I think I'm gonna sell some stuff as well. Let's sell, of course, the turnips. Well, I think that is it. I'm gonna gift this flower to someone. I haven't still figured out exactly how the gifting thing works. Do the townies have their favorite gifts? I still need to really figure that out. I did also bring enough materials so we could possibly upgrade our watering can. Um, I'm just gonna do this. I'm not sure if it's going to take like one day or something. So I hope, I hope it doesn't. <gasps> Oh, yay! Oh my goodness, I love that. Because in some farming simulators, upgrading your items might take one or two days. So it's kind of a bad thing to do, like, because you will miss, like, one day of watering your flowers so they won't grow. You know? You know? Anyone play Stardew? <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I don't think we will have enough money to really do any farming today. Like, we cannot buy any seeds. But I wanted to maybe do some fishing after this. Okay, let's go to the museum first. I have an amazing squirrel photo for you. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my goodness! There is like a little miniature of the fox. I love that! This photo thing is like my favorite thing about this game. Adorable. Just so freaking adorable. Our museum is really growing quite well, slowly but surely. After this, we can go to the town hall, check the bulletin board. Let's check the town quest. Okay, so deliver that and Ralph wants some logs. Of course, I didn't bring any with me. Oh my goodness, can someone tell me who I did not meet yet? <laughs> this is driving me crazy because I know there is one more person that we can meet and I cannot figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can test our cooking skills here. Okay, interesting. So there are so many little things in this game which I really love. Okay, I just went back to my farm to get those logs. <laughs> I just want to finish this request. Okay, here we go. I think this might be like what I know. I think that has been like the best way to get some friendship with the villagers. Even the gifts haven't really worked, at least not yet. I'm still, I need to still figure that out. Um, But yeah, I don't have that much stamina left to do anything super important today. I think I'm just gonna fish a little bit and probably gather some materials as usual. And I think that is pretty much going to be it. But I do love how chill this game is. Okay, I realized that it is Nguyen's birthday today. Let's try to find him. Oh no, he doesn't live here. <laughs> Oops. Let's try to find him and give him a gift that is definitely not the flower shop. Yay, okay, let's gift him this. Happy birthday! Today's my birthday, you know, getting a birthday present at my age. You're making me blush. I love Nguyen. So adorable. I mean, this, this, <laughs> this game is so cute. Okay, I'm trying to figure out who I didn't meet yet. And I think it might be Sydney. I'm not sure where she lives. Is she in the general store? Uh, why am I doing this? I can check it from the map. Sydney, 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 where are you? Okay, I'm either blind or I cannot see her on the map. But I think she must be the only person who is missing. Where is she? Where is she hiding? But I think that is enough for this day. I'm just gonna use the rest of my stamina to like cut some trees down. And maybe we can do one more day. Try to find Sydney from this mad town. <laughs> okay, day six done. Let's sleep. Okay, we made a decent amount of money. That's great. Now I'm actually also officially as far into this game as I am in my second save file. So everything from now on is going to be new. New for me too. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I just miss the birds. I could have taken a photo. Dang it. Okay, so let's get this morning routine started. Then let's go and try to find Sydney. Where is that woman? Oh my goodness, I love our new watering can. It's everything. Ah, uh, that was a smart choice, you guys. Definitely go for your watering can upgrade as fast as possible. Ooh, and these have also grown. Oh, nice. I hope these make a lot of money. We need to go and buy more seeds. I hope the general store is open. Oh, wow, okay, amazing. We can throw nine seeds at once. You have unlocked <gasps> sprinklers, yes. What do we need for the sprinklers? Okay, what is a decent area? Why does it only say decent area? <laughs> okay, I think we need like iron or I don't know what is the blue thing. I cannot like go and check what it is, but we definitely don't have that. So we cannot make sprinklers anytime soon. Oh, and you know what? I think we can... Do we have enough lumber already? We can go and... Yes. Perfect. I already forgot all about this. Now, before I forget, let's let's do this. We definitely want to put this under construction. The bridge is going to be fixed the next day. So I guess we will see that in the next episode. I'm not also sure if there is any other tool that we should upgrade. I'm not sure. We are not like super rich. I think we're going to spend all this money on crops. Today we're gonna buy more seeds. Oh my god, Chiki, I'm sorry. Why are you upset? We got a star. 
What does that mean? <laughs> so we need to find Sydney because it bothers me that we haven't met one person yet. I think we can do a brief visit to the museum. We have like one thing to donate and we need more seeds. Oh, and something is happening. Okay, so I think for the rest of this episode, I'm just gonna do a quick voiceover of what happened on this day. Well, first of all, we got thrown into a family drama right off the bat. There was like, argument with Victor and Jacobo about what the town should upgrade. Like Jacobo seems to want like a maze and adventures and Victor wants to be more like practical and make like new roads and stuff. So if you saw quickly, the town actually upgraded a little bit. But to be honest, when I was playing, I couldn't even tell the difference. Only the road and the lamps changed just a tiny bit. And I could only tell the difference now that I was editing. So I could like compare how it looked before. <laughs> so that was actually kind of funny. But I hope that the more that we progress into the game and into the story, maybe the town is actually gonna like change quite a lot. We will see. See. For the rest of that day, I didn't really do much else different. Like as usual in the farming simulators, the beginning of the game is kind of slow paced and this game is so chill. It makes me into this like chill mode and yeah I'm still kind of trying to learn how to make this let's play a little bit more interesting a little bit more energetic so bear with me I'm still kind of new to this and I'm trying to figure it out but as you can see there is so much drama going on here and they basically told me that I have to do everything so you know the basics the basics um so I'm interested to see where this Victor and Jacobo drama is going Jacobo is a hot mess by the way like I'm just getting a weird vibe from him but for the rest of the day. I tried to find Sydney by the way and this woman is not in my game anymore. I don't know what happened. She just disappeared. It bothers me so much that there is like one person that we haven't met yet. So I'm still in the quest to find Sydney. But that was pretty much it. I just like gathered some materials and went to the museum and nothing too crazy on this day. But I hope that you have been enjoying this episode so far. Thank you for hanging out with me for another episode of Story of Seasons. I am really enjoying this game. It's very chill. It gives me that like beginning of Animal Crossing sort of vibe. Like you're just like fishing and doing a little bit of farming and seeing what the goings ons are around town. So I'm really excited to see where this uh, game goes and I hope you have enjoyed it so far. Let me know how do you like it? Like have you purchased it yet or not? And how have you been enjoying it so far? But that was pretty much it as I said. Nothing too crazy yet. Also the game is kind of slow paced so we cannot really progress really really fast in it either. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope to see you all in the next one and make sure you like the video if you want to see more. Bye guys!